Alright, 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 alright. Welcome back, people, and we're moving on to the Plague Lands or Pandemic Zone or Chicago, as we know it. Jorge was heading to New York City. Maybe I can catch up with him. I'd have to cross the Pandemic Zone to get there. Chicago was the checkpoint to get in. I heard the high pitched squeal of drone propellers. The Mapo drone darted towards me and released a care package into my arms. Thanks. Fulfilling Mampo Quests helps us re-establish liberty in America. Mampo Quest 1 success! You hit bonus 2 on both Camelot Knights. You gain money, $100. Mampo Quest 2 success! Joe was allowed into Camelot. You gain health, 20 Mampo Quest 3 success! You address Joe correctly. You gain morale, 20 A grade A grade achieved. Location bonus unlocked. Received item, Mange Cloak. Oh, that's cute. There were two routes to Chicago. Uh, 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 uh. He said, he said, don't take I ninety. So I'm gonna follow. I'm going to follow Joe. Joe's instructions, right? It's a long story. FYI, Mempo is going to sell some home security items on Bouncer. Home security? I'm on a road trip. You only accept Mempo A grades for payment if you earn A grades at a location considering purchasing items. Why though? Hmm. Okay. That's weird. Uh, Mempo? Oh. Well. Keeping off the main main highway made sense. I started my journey. After America fractured in two, the Midwestern states were ravaged by disease and left to rot. Officially, this was Alliance territory, but the Alliance had enough to deal with, so they rode off the area as pandemic zone and went back to fighting the martyrs. The closer I got to Chicago, the more, de the more deserted it became. Someone calling? Agent Nairobi, have you secured the disguise? Um, wrong number? Ah, apologies Kevin. I was thinking of one of our drone pilots, Malik. Uh, any questions about drone deliveries? Plenty. Like, why are you sending me all this? America's in desperate need for some good deeds, don't you think? As your account manager, I must inform you that home, Mapo home security items are now available to purchase by the Bouncer Shop tab. Okay, that makes sense, because just now, I tried to see... Ah, okay... Uh, I have so far only one A grade, so yeah, I can't buy anything. Okay, so bouncer shop on a minute message follows. New Mapo home security items in stock. Check bouncer shop tab. And as you can see, the the I didn't mention this before, but the phone for Nintendo 92 is not cracked. So this is a new phone. Which is um, interesting to say the least. Anyway, these items are exclusive to intrepid explorers like yourself. You know, I need my cash for traveling. These are bought using A grades earned each location by completing our Mapo quests. Check your Mapo A grade tracker. It tracks your A grades. Earn enough and you can buy some Mapo home security items. By Mapo Grade Tracker, I don't have a. Hold on. How did this. Oh, oh, yep. How did this get here? Kenya, I bet. Received item, A Grade Tracker. You never mentioned how you know Kenya. Thanks for using Mapo. This is the line I did. So they're avoiding talking about Kenya. I think it's gonna be a very, like, big thing at the end. Uh, that wasn't suspicious at all. And why would I need these items? Something strange for sure. The call nagged at me for the rest of the way. And I crossed to Illinois, Fuzzy Burger, Billboards, dotted the highway. So I guess no, like, security. Um, that's, that's all well and good. Better, in fact. Hello, Marie. Ever heard of Camelot? Kinda. Wizards? Didn't know it was real. Oh, they were real. Re wizards, spearing said wizards. Anyway, arri arriving at Chicago. 
The Alliance had no energy to help the Midwest, so America's most successful fast food joint stepped in. To a barren land, they provided an infrastructure, a sense of dignity, and a killer breakfast sandwich. Oh, sounds like a, sounds like the Wally -E, um, <laughs> movie. That's crazy. I arrived at the city limits, the entrance to the pandemic zone, and I'm wearing a mask, so that's that's good. Uh, am I still wearing a mask? Good. That's great. All right, so. The pandemic zone border was part checkpoint, part fast food joint. Alright, well, let's see the news. As plague numbers hit an all time high, Fuzzy Burger joins Maple Group. Where others see problems, Maple sees profit. Fuzzy Burger, then. Sh oh, sorry. Fuzzy Burger, the Chicago bur burger chain, has sold to Mapo in the latest investment of Mapo into Alliance States. We see opportunity for Chicago's residents in the face of pandemic, said Tom Sweeney, Mapo's chancellor. Bridgeport resident Bo Robinson doubted the investment will benefit locals directly. My brother George used to work at Fuzzy Burger, but he's been replaced by a robot George 2D2. <laughs> a robot George 2D2. Nice. R2D2. Serving up border entry and burgers alike with a smile. Fuzzy Burger had a bouncer opening. I headed straight tire. You the guy with the goods? No, I'm a bouncer. Can I borrow $200? I'm a bouncer too. You can trust me. I don't even know you. My bad, I'm Jorge. Oh, Eduardo's cousin? That's me. I'm Kevin, a friend of Eduardo's. You took Eduardo's passport. I need it. Yeah, well, so do I. I got problems to solve. The martyrs got him. I need to bring that passport to Miami and free him. And I need cash. So how about this? I just f got fired at Fuzzy Burger for letting people through without masks. Uh, isn't that a bad idea in a pandemic zone? Their body, their choice. Keep letting them in if I get that extra tra cash. Then you'll give, them the, give me the passport? Yeah, or don't you trust me? Uh, are you in trouble? Are you some kind of chop? <laughs> are you kind of chop? Are you, sky are you some kind of cop? Take job. Get three people through without mask. If you do, meet me here tomorrow. Fine. Jorge disappeared around the corner. What, was this the only way to get Eduardo's passport? Oh, I think the the pandemic zone is meshed together with um, uh, you know the whole COVID thing that uh, ended Trump's presidency essentially. I checked Bouncer for the fuzzy burger job. That's crazy. Three people? Hello, I'm the new bouncer. You? You're the one this whole plan hinges on? Are you even old enough to drink? I'm 24. I run a tight operation here. You slip and one of my nephews will take care of you. Understood? So is this a burger joint or a border? Why not both? <laughs> no one gets through the border without spending at least $10. Tell up the receipts using the register. Less than $10, no entry. Keep an eye on for fake IDs too, you'll know all about those. Oh fuck, I told you I'm not a minor. And turn away, turn anyone, turn away anyone without a mask. You got a mask? You're right here. That'll keep you healthy if you will. Here, right. Alright. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty interesting commentary.
know, I know, I know. That's all, closing time. I thought the register would be a big fuck up for me, but it wasn't. So it it I it makes sense uh, in the game. So I guess I guess I was so happy I didn't need to do the whole math myself, as I'm pretty pretty tired. All finished. Good work. I like you. Thanks. Here you go. 158 bucks. Come back tomorrow if you want more work. One concern we had a camera on you. Care to tell me why you let some uh, masculine customers in? Answer carefully. Honest mistake. I'll do it better next time. See you tomorrow, Auntie. Well, it's not an honest mistake. I looked for her in early in the morning. Work, working didn't leave much time for her sleep. It takes its toll. But thanks to wearing masks, I avoided any more health issues. All right, well. Jorge was loitering in the alley behind Fuzzy Burger. Hey man, how did it go? I let people through without masks. Like you said, and look at this good money they paid for it. Here's your cut. Three more tonight, and then I'll give you the passport. That wasn't the deal. Yeah, that wasn't the deal. Come on, man. You're doing me a huge favor. We'll meet back here tomorrow. I don't know, man. I don't know. Welcome back, nephew. How's your friend Jorge? Hey, auntie. How did you know about Jorge? Work first, talk later. Tonight, same deal. Over ten dollar receipts, no minors, no fake IDs, and mask right. As and what we have capsules tonight. This is for fast food. You guys have a term for it in your phone games. Whales, big spenders. Oh, okay, cool. No, but we expect a certain amount of guest lists through the door. Check the counter for how many. Tonight's five, so get five and oh, nice. So get five on a guest list through the door and you expect a nice bonus. Great. Switch queues to the guest list, uh, check their information as usual. Oh, of course. And make sure their na name's on the list. If their name's not down, they're not coming in. I'm counting on you. Of course you are. Of course you are, bitch. Let's go! Wait. If it's guest list, then I don't need to check their thingy, right? Or I still do? I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's just try. So 1979, 
Oh, well. The last one here. Yeah. Oh, formal warning. Okay, nice. Just in time, man. Just in time. Hold on, just give me a minute. What a night. You work, you work hard. Your mom should be proud. Here you go. Thank you. Now you can discuss your new pal, Jorge. Although you still let some people in without masks. Sorry, I got overwhelmed. I hope whatever scam you and Jorge are, run, was, are running was worth it. He skipped town. We ran a credit check and found a recent charge at an arts club in Detroit. He's working out debt on cousin's name. You got played. You should have trusted me. Sorry, nothing's more important than getting the passport. Apparently so. Bye-bye. Auntie's nephews escorted me out of Fuzzy Bear. Looks like I'm chasing after Jorge again. Off to Detroit tomorrow. So, uh, this is the end of episode 5, if I'm not mistaken. Before I left, I gave Jorge one last chance. Working didn't leave much time for sleep. 
I'm glad I wore a mask during my shift. I avoided any further health, health loss. I went in the valley behind Fuzzy Bear at the sunset over dust choked skies. My stomach sank. And he was right. Jorge ditched me. And he was last in Detroit, so that's my next destination. I shouldn't waste any more time. And that is the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry for uh, pausing a little bit there. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.